Everybody is hands on deck to get this done and we're going to get your kids to school safe. JCPS district leaders say they're confident issues will be resolved by next week. But with schools canceled until at least Wednesday, what will kids do to keep busy? You're watching Wave News at 11. I'm Noelle Friel. Several organizations and businesses are offering deals for JCPS students and their parents to pass the time. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer looked into what deals are being offered. Yeah, Noel, with JCPS students getting an extended summer, local businesses are trying to make it feel that way with great deals to help parents keep their kids occupied while school is out of session. But apologies to our families, uh, specifically families and students for this disruption in their learning. For JCPS students, families and staff, this last week has been a whirlwind. There was so much anticipation and excitement for the first day of school and the changes that came with it. But for some parents, it can be summed up in just one word. Scared. Some students were stranded at school for hours. Some dropped off at the wrong stops, while others didn't get to theirs until almost 10 p.m. Wednesday. JCPS board member James Craig says first day of school hiccups are expected. And in fact, the 2009 school year saw students also get home late after a change in the student assignment plans. But they had no clue things would be on this level. First day of school, new student assignment plan. The kids were getting home at 9 and 10 o'clock at night. Um, so we knew that there would be issues, but the level of issues were uh, beyond the pale. To fix those issues, JCPS has canceled school for at least four days, leaving students at home with nothing to do something local businesses are hoping to help parents with. Our community supports us, so at these unexpected times, like, we want to give something back, you know. It's, it's we, we know how, you know, a, a change in the schedule like this can just pull the rug out from under you. So we want, we want to give the family something to do. The Slugger Museum and Factory is just one of the businesses offering a great deal for JCPS students. The museum is offering two free student admission tickets per adult on Monday, August 4th and Tuesday, August 15th to check out their new renovated facilities. The Southeast YMCA is opening child care from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. on both days and have open registration online. The Louisville Zoo has discounted their tickets by almost 50% on those days, and Louisville Parks and Rec is offering several deals at their parks to keep kids occupied. And then all things lead to Tuesday night school board meeting where district board member Craig hopes to hear good news. Sure, we expect to hear from the administration what they need from us to make this plan run smoothly and to have the schools open. While Tuesday is the next JP JCPS school board meeting, five Jefferson County legislators are hosting a public forum tomorrow for JCPS families to talk about the first day at school at Brown Park Pavilion in St. Matthews from 2 to 2, 3.30 p.m. And if you'd like to learn more about the deals you can take advantage of next week, you can check out our website at wave3.com. Brandon Spencer, Wave News.